Okay, our final speaker for this session is Dr. Ba Hung Ho. Um, he's the Senior Principal Geoscientist for the Geological Survey of South Australia, and he's responsible for international collaborations, particularly the collaboration between the GSSA and the China Geological Survey at Nanjing Centre. As Rowan has already mentioned, several of our colleagues from Nanjing are here with us today, and we welcome them uh, and hope you're enjoying the talk so far. Dr Ho has worked extensively on sedimentary evolution of South Australia's Cenozoic basins, in particular the Eucla and the Murray basins, and in keeping with our theme to understand the geology of the Delamerian origin and the sediments that overlie it, Dr Ho will present a review into the mineral potential of the Murray Basin area. Please thank him. It's, uh, uh, my talk is a focus on the potential of this area. Uh, this is a part of the uh, uh, idea and the result from uh, Mark Twain and I the working on the uh, this uh, section 15 area prospectivity uh, review. Uh, and uh, I'll talk just uh, focus on the sedimentary information just above the basement to the Western Mar Basin. Just now, the Stacy just talking about the basement. This is uh, interesting. The young geologists are interested in old rocks, and the old man just interested in young sediment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, just above the basement in this area, we know the, the current knowledge, we just know this is a Darling Basin. When you review the internet or some uh, literature, you always can see the name is Darling Murray Basin. This uh, looks like a geographic name, but we are talking about geology, it's Darling Basin. The Darling Basin just uh, uh, looks like the early Paleozoic sediments extend mostly from uh, uh, New South Wales into South Australia. But so far, we don't know the area and the contents of this uh, Darling Basin in South Australia and how much carbon. And uh, just a little bit above, you can see the Nutter Basin is a later Paleozoic. This, uh, this information, this, this sediments mainly focus on the Name we can go, uh, currently we know the Remark 12, but so far we don't know how much uh, Remark 12 was controlled by the uh, uh, drilling. You know, in this area, the drilling was limited. And for the database, just a few drill holes control this area. And going to the another basin, just less than 10 drill holes, when you go to the Barrier Basin, the Mesozoic sediment, just about 10 drill holes control this area. So we put several question marks here, including in the last uh, part with uh, several uh, uh, slides. And I'm going to uh, Mara Basin. The Mara Basin, we know much, much more than the old sediments in this area because we can find hundreds of drill holes, but mostly were shallow. And a couple of the dozen drill holes just going through this area. And also, we can use this drill holes to control the regional idea about sediment, uh, sedimentary rocks in this area. Currently, we know the three package. One is the uh, uh, Remark group, and then the Mark group, and then Younger. The Younger ones mostly, uh, mostly the Pliocene sediments contain the high minerals. This is the water we are interested in. And in this area, we know that this is through sediment package separated by unconformity. So that's what, what that means. This is a different package. So we have to think about why this different package located in a different area, and the water relationship between this different package was why they located in the different part from the east to the west. So we put the, the, the cartoon figure just showing this is an old package mostly located in the, in, the, in, the western part, uh, in the eastern part, and the younger one going to the western part. Back to South Australia. In South Australia, in the, in the, the first package in the upper top is a remark, upper remark, in South Australia area, we, we call the western Mar Basin, the most land by that time is continental. What does this mean? This means that the, the lot should be a lot of uh, uh, pilot drainage 
developed in this area, but we don't know the question mark just showing where the age of different package distribute. Because of the limit of the, uh, the, the drilling in this area, we don't know. And going to the Mari group, the uh, deposition time in South Australia, the marine sediments, the marine just uh, uh, transcribed further to the inland. And uh, in that case, the forming the Mari group, uh, Mari group just going to the younger, going to the uh, Pliocene time, in this area is the, the sedimentary environment very suitable for forming the coastal plain. We know the coastal plain that should contain, maybe they contain some high minerals, maybe not. So when you pay the channel, when you mapping this is a, uh, this is a uh, straight line in this area, straight line, and uh, Maybe some stride line contain high minerals, maybe not, because we need another condition as a source. Later we will talk about that. This figure showing the high minerals, this circle of high minerals is from some industry result, it just uh, divided into different concentrated part of the high minerals in this area. You know, in the Hosman area, industry already recognized it's offshore. Maybe not true. And uh, in the question mark in the top, close to the uh, 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 mineral, that area is pretty coarse. So Peter Roy just uh, saw that area is uh, mostly like high minerals type. And this area is uh, 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 offshore. And to the South Australia, what kind of salt? High minerals. And also another problem is the question mark we think about in South Australia or even in the, in the, in the close to South Australia about the so many different forces, how to control this evolution. The two main ideas appear from the history. One is the sedimentary evolution. What does this mean? This means this force still active, still alive. And during the forming this, uh, this land, this coastal land, and some part rising up, some part going down. And, and some part suitable for forming this straight line, but some part not. This is a question mark, we don't know. Maybe another reason is the post deposition events, and after deposition, maybe up, down, and they roll away. And some straight line just remain there. And this is uh, for the whole. Uh, uh, Mario Basin talking about the high minerals, uh, the four type of this uh, uh, high minerals described by uh, Peter Roy. And uh, we put a question mark to saying maybe in the New South Wales part, mostly like deposit, and uh, come to the Victoria, maybe offshore, play important, and to South Australia, it's a regressive high, uh, high minerals. So we should put, we put a question mark here. That means we need time to solve this problem. We need, we need more work to solve this problem. Another question is so we're thinking about the two coastal plain. One is the Loxton coastal plain, and to the younger coastal plain, to the Mount Gambia coastal plain. So what relationship between them? It looks like when you're thinking about today's Murray River, uh, Murray Mouth area, maybe their evolution history very similar to the Pleasant time. For mapping, for this area mapping the straight line, we use mainly use a topographic map, DN, and mostly we use a nighttime thermal. This is important because we know the topographic map just tell you the, the top, uh, surface story, you can see it. And the subsurface, you have to use other tools. So we use a nighttime thermal image. This is a no image, pretty coarse, 1.1 kilometers pixels. And then another one we compare the land side sevens that Adrian did before. It's uh, currently we think in this area is the most, is the best one. But theoretically we are thinking I should be best one. You can see it's a 90 meters signal, pixels, uh, pixel signal. 
But these days, the data we are using, not good. The too much noisy, too much information, we don't know how to pair each other, and the very, very limited useful signal we can see. So when we talk to any major about this, uh, he is not happy with the processing. Maybe we need reprocessing this data in the future, but this data covering over 90% of South Australia, but still in the internal use. And this is really just showing, looks like, from nighttime thermal, we want to use this uh, uh, information work out the subsurface, but very near subsurface, from a cooling uh, separate between the cooling town and the warm town, and overlap with the DM and the plus uh, uh, geology. And in the, West, uh, in the Victoria area and the New South Wales area, from history, geological work, somebody using geophysical work, for example, like magnetic, because some straight line contain much more urbanite. But in South Australia, nobody tried this. Another question is a uh, higher mineral source. If you have information, have the, the environmental condition showing all oh, this here, the bite is good forming the higher minerals, and also we can find this, uh, this straight line. But maybe some straight line, some area, doesn't have uh, any uh, higher minerals. So this is the initial work last few years. We already done the John Kenny already published uh, in, in a uh, 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 report book. But the initial work, we are not happy with that. I think you're not happy, and, and, and uh, John Kelly is not happy, so that's why today we set up the new project. This German student, Martin, just really work in this area. We want to work in the we resampling in, in the Western Mar Basin, just how much the high minerals coming from. The premier high minerals are mostly coming from the uh, uh, eastern side, and also some uh, have minerals to this data showing coming from uh, mass, uh, coming from Musgrave or Garquetong we uh, Flinders Range area. This looks like about 30 percent coming. What this tell you? This tell you even more. We can show the more salts coming from a South Australia part. This mean between the Mar Basin and the, this South area, we have potential. A lot of potential area you can predict the high minerals. This question mark circle, we predict maybe you can find more high minerals. Just go there to find by the luck. But today, we are still relying on the new deep drilling program. And this uh, information will tell you the more story and the more uh, information answer the question we listed before. And, uh, also in this area, you can, you can find some uh, aquifer because during the exploration, a lot of companies were interested in the world could find the water for the exploration work. And to the deep part, the limited information there, again, the deep drilling program will, can tell you the more detail in the future. Maybe some uh, energy resources, and you can keep an eye on our update information. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.